Let's now solve this problem from the AMC 10B. What is the area of the region in the coordinate plane defined by this complicated looking inequality? Hmm. So the key trick here is take cases based on x and y being positive or negative. So let's, the reason is because we see this absolute value x here, and that's really kind of annoying, right? So in these kind of problems, you just see like, okay, plus or minus, plus or minus. And then, you know, we'll see, we'll see what the, this, this graph will look like. So in the first case, x is positive, y is positive. What do we get? We get x minus 1 plus y minus 1 is less than or equal to 1. So what does this really mean? Well, we see x minus 1. Well, this might kind of remind you of distance formula. And this is kind of like the taxi cab distance. You've heard of that term before. So imagine if this is the point 1 comma 1. All it's saying is that any point x comma y, assuming it's of course positive, so in this first quadrant, the sum of the differences in the x coordinates and the differences in the y coordinates, of course, the absolute difference is going to be at most 1. So then this, this kind of kind of like geometric problem, kind of like that, same kind of logic here. I'll just erase this, but you know this is 1, comma 1. So at most, the x coordinate can deviate by 1 in either direction, right? And that would be 0 because this is the x coordinate of 1 over there. At most, the y coordinate can deviate by 1 in either direction. And then it's like, okay, what if x is 1.5? Then this becomes 0 0.5. And then, so y can also, so then this thingy can be at most 0 0.5. So let's say x is 1.5, which is here, like on this, this thingy here. y can deviate from 1 by at most 0 0.5. So at most it can be 0 0.5 up or 0 0.5 down. Similarly, if let's say x is 0 0.5, then this, this distance is still 0 0.5, the distance between 1. So y can again deviate by at most 0 0.5 in either direction. So you might be like, huh, I see a pattern here. It's like these, we have these lines here, and this is the region that will be bounded here. And that is indeed correct. In general, if you really want to prove why this whole figure works, it's not very difficult, right? We just... You just look at, you just write the equation of a line for x being greater than 1, y less than 1, so on, if you want to be completely rigorous about it. But most people here will just be like, okay, yeah, I see the, I see the shape this maps out. This thingy is 2, this thingy is 2, the area is half times 2 times 2, which is 2. Well, wait, don't, don't be careful, right? Remember, we assumed x is positive and y is positive. The key thing here is that if x, let's say we have x is negative and y is positive. It's the exact same thing, except now we flip it. We just flip this whole rhombus over, we just flip it, let me draw that new version out. Something like this. So why, why is that the case, right? The, the reason is because, let's say instead of one point, let's say we have negative 1.5, as their x coordinate. Because of the fact we're taking absolute value, it's completely symmetric to x equals 1.5. So everything is just going to be symmetric here and here. And luckily, the maximum value of x this could be in this direction was zero. So we don't have to deal with any, you know, weird overlapping intersection regions. So we can apply the exact same logic for y. We just reflect it over the x axis. And similarly, if x and y are both negative, it's just going to be the same diamond region in the third quadrant. So overall, our area is just 2 times 4, which is 8. And that's our final answer. Boom. The key trick, just taking cases based on x and y's uh, sign, and then realizing that this is just distance, or so-called taxi cap distance, which is just some of the absolute x difference and y difference coordinates. And being like, OK, that is less than, less than or equal to 1. And then we just form this nice little region. Hope you enjoyed.